Savage World Horror Figures. <laughs> Funko is killing it with Savage World. I am loving these figures so much. I already recorded this video actually and I lost the footage. But that's okay because I hadn't had gotten Jason and I guess I can run through them all again now that I have him. In Canada we have EB Games which is GameStop basically. It's Canadian GameStop and I was really disappointed when we did not get well we didn't get Zorn. I don't know where he was available and then we didn't get the Mortal Kombat ones. That was what I was counting on and where I was counting on getting them. We don't have targets. No comic book shop I know had these. I did manage to find them. I don't remember where I got these from. I know that I got the chase figures on eBay. It wasn't an easy process and I was very disappointed that Canadian GameStop didn't get them. I bought them on Amazon. That's where I got the Mortal Kombat's. And then Azorn I got on Amazon and then I went to a Target one day when I was visiting the States and then I found two Zorns on clearance and I, I bought every Zorn they had because they were such a good deal. But then I found on the internet, I was looking around and I found that there was a store that sells to Canada Funko at a great price and it was called Pop in a Box. Like they mostly specialize in pops, which I don't really like. I like these and I like five stars. I'm totally into the five star figures. These ones, so cute. These are cute too, but tough, tough and cute. But then it takes a really long time to get them from Pop in the Box because I think it's in the UK, so you have to wait a very, very long time to get these. They sent me these four, no Jason, and said that I had to wait for them to order him or for him to come in, and then all of the Thundercats. While my order was pending, it's still pending, well, it's not pending anymore, because I saw at EB Games that they started getting the Savage World figures in. They actually got, I think, they just got four, they got two from the Thundercat series, and they got two from the horror series. I think it was just these two in Canada so far. Now I only need to get two more. This guy was cheaper. Usually they're $15 for Americans, and they're $15 for Canadians. I mean, if you have a club membership, you can pay $13. 50 for it. I don't know why they made him cheaper. He was only $12.99. Well, that's a very awesome sport. I'm going to review those. I think I'll wait until I get the other two before I review those. But luckily, you're going to be able to see all of these. I probably should mention that Funko also makes a series of DC figures that look exactly like Savage World, but they are a Amazon exclusive and they call them DC Primal Age. And my figures are still on their way. I had to order these from the States only at Amazon.com that I know of. They are awesome figures too. This artwork on the box is amazing. The box came in two other boxes. It was a box and a box and a box. So I'm happy that it was really well secured on its trip here to Canada. So I'm waiting on the figures that I'm getting. How many figures are there in that set? Eight figures and two beasts. And they're awesome. I can't wait to get my grubby little hands on those because they're exactly the same in this primal, fierce, savage looking. They put furry boots and loincloths on them and then they make them barbaric, which is what I loved most about Masters of the Universe. I fell in love with the figures far before I knew anything about the cartoon. And when I finally saw that cartoon on Laserdisc, let me tell you, I was slightly disappointed. Because they juveniled up my strong, grotesque, hunky, chunky, awesome figures with uh, comic relief and orco and whatnot. So if you want to save the cards on your figure. So, I should tell you the story about how these came in. I was away in LA and when I came home I found the box had been left on my doorstep 
by whatever the courier was. I guess it was just the post office. And uh, it was all soggy. <laughs> One of the cards inside was soggy. It might have shown up the day that I left and had been there for like two weeks. So yeah, I like to cut around the perimeter if I want to save the card. Tell you the truth, I'm not loving the cards on these. Like the original Masters of the Universe figures, which these are based on, they had like a little comic scene on the back and cards were just really really beautiful masterpieces these are okay but i'm actually kind of grateful because i don't feel guilty at all removing them from their blisters they're all the same on the back anyway you get to see the five characters available collect them all freddy krueger jason Voorhees, pinhead michael myers and leatherface and it gives you their name at the top and it says five and a half inch action figure. My favorite, favorite kind. Once I discovered Masters of the Universe back in probably 82, there was no turning back. I didn't want any other toys, just Masters of the Universe up until I was 12 years old and no more toys. I mean, I had Legos and stuff. You gotta have Legos. Let's put the Thundercats up there. Let's look at Jason's weapons. Look at that sweet bone axe. That is beautiful. These things are kind of brittle plastic. They don't remind me of the Masters of the Universe weapons, which were very bendy and soft. You can see how primal the blade is with nicks and scrapes in it. And I have to tell you that things don't really fit in the hands very well. I'm not going to put these things in their hands. These feel like they could break. Does his waist twist? Oh, whoa, did you hear that crack? He was glued shut. You have to be careful with these though. The Thundercats have been showing up with a lot of broken parts. Some of them are softer than other. Their arms and their heads and their legs come off really easily. The legs are on ball sockets, much better than the elastic bands that we had on Vintage Masters of the Universe. I would be gentle with them. I don't really need them to hold their weapons. I'm going to keep them in a storage box, so I'm not going to put their weapons in their hands. I can't apply it. I mean, a lot might have to do with the temperature of the weather. It's colder now, and I have been noticing that my toys are a lot harder and stiffer than normal. But you can see the amazing sculpts, but it's simple enough. I'm big into simplicity in my toys, and I don't like too much detail and too much painting. McFarland is a bit too much for me. Even Masters of the Universe Classics is a bit too much detail for me. These, with their classic retro five points of articulation, I'm so happy that these are out. I'm looking forward to getting my Super 7 figures as well. Let me show you Pinhead now. His glistening black, and look at the blood coming out of his chest, and the pins in his head, just fantastic. I love that black leather shiny suit. And look at his face. Look at the pins and the details. It's really, really, really incredible. Do check out some pictures that I put up on Instagram. That's at 2hunky. There's some torture going on for your classic Masters of the Universe. This is Freddy Krueger. You know, we got the sweater, we got all the right colors in there. But he's just a little more savaged up with his furry boots and his like blistered skin, his hood. Their legs are in a little more crouch position and their arms go out a little bit wider than Masters of the Universe. I'm okay with it. Some angles you see them and their legs look a little too stubby, but it's a really good design. I wish the plastic was a little bit softer. Oh yeah, and he has uh, this claw that he can put on or off. Just like Lionel also has one of these. So that is a fantastic accessory. Oh, and I forgot to show you Pinhead's accessories. He's got these crazy saw blades. Very, very creepy. Oh, and he also comes with this awesome golden cube. That's right. It's been a long time since I've seen Hellraiser. I should definitely revisit that. It's awesome. Every side is different. Michael Myers comes with two awesome, you know, kitchen knives he can kill his sister with. I think I can put those in his hand. Oh, yeah. You can just balance them in there. They don't squeeze in. They're just like hanging out in there, but you can put them in. 
these bone handles, those you're gonna have to squeeze in. And it can be done. There's no reason for me not to do it, except I'm just gonna take them out anyway. No, stop, I'm gonna stop, because I could break it. It's really kind of chilly. It's the coldest day of the year so far. Let me give you a better look at Michael, though. He's got his, like, a white mask on, his hair shining through. His shirt comes down like his loincloth. His boots are a little more piratey. So creepy good. Amazing, amazing, savage, barbarian, primal. Oh, so good. And then Leatherface. Is he showing the most skin or is Jason? Jason's showing skin and bone. Leatherface got his apron on. I'm always surprised that some of these things are more soft than other. Like the weapons should really be made of whatever this plastic is. Oh yeah, his hands open. Everyone seems to be made out of different plastic. Some harder than others. Just look at all of those great details. That's molded on chain, but it looks like it's so real. Kind of do miss that. Everything is sculpted on with the original Masters of the Universe, at least. I think later on we got, they started molding more of the torsos and bodies differently, but the removable armor and stuff, that was some of the best parts of Masters of the Universe. There wasn't a lot of paint apps on it. It was just the layers of plastic. And that's something to this day I love in a toy. He comes with a removable hand. So he does have this extra point of articulation right here. And there's a stub there. Oh, should I take this out? Ugh. So he's got this little stub on the end of his hand. And he can also put on this hammer. Yeah, I don't want to put that on. I don't want to have to take it off. So he can put the hammer on here. A mallet, if you will. Isn't that great to have that option? But he can also hold it in his other hand if he wanted. But Leatherface definitely needs a chainsaw at all times. So, so, so sweet. Him and Michael Myers have the same kind of mask hair thing going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fantastic. If you're interested in the future and seeing all of my Mortal Kombat figures mixed in with, you know, Zorn, I can do a giant Savage World collection video and we can go through all of these again. I probably will. I probably want to like spill some tea or something. Let me throw in a He-Man right here to show you. Oh, I think I talked about the differences in my Mortal Kombat video. You can see that they're even bigger than He-Man. He-Man is no longer the strongest man in the universe. Their arms go out a little bit more. He-Man's round in a bit closer to his body, and then the legs just seem a little thicker and a little more bent on the Savage and Primal figures. But it's totally the same deal, and they work awesome together, and of course they work with the playsets awesomely together. There's a lot of awesome 5.5s happening right now, and Mattel is taking an interest in making 5.5s too, I cannot wait for them to be in the game because when the stuff can come to retail and with Mattel's higher quality plastics and their mass markets, you can expect some great things at good prices from them in the future. Let's hope. They really seem to be interested in embracing this resurrection. Let me know if you have a favorite one of these. Let me know what else you want to see from these. Any comparisons, I'll be happy to show you. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Jason, of course, is my favorite, I would have to say. Jason's my favorite, but I, I think I like Leatherface's outfit best. Their arms are too wide to fit in Talon Fighter. They definitely can sit on the throne in Castle Grayskull. I gotta open up that Primal Age castle right now.